Hi there, let's set up the TP-Link Deco X60 mesh system. I've got the two-pack variation here and I'll use this one as the main rotor as, and this one as a range extender. So let's put it aside so far. So what I need, I need the Ethernet cable and of course I need the power adapter. I need to connect my main deck to the power source and of course I need my smartphone because the only way to connect this model uh, to the internet is by using the Deco application. If you don't have Deco application in your smartphone you need to go to Play Store, search for Deco and install TP-Link Deco and open this application. Uh, now, when you launch this application for the first time, you will be asked to create a TP-Link ID or a login. This is a simple process, so let me skip this. I already have an account. Just create it, a login, and you will see the screen. Let's begin. And what you need to see now, you need to see this LED indicator uh, pulsing blue. Uh, for now, it's yellow. Now we see the pulsing LED indicator, it's pulsing blue and I'm prompted to uh, go to my wireless settings and connect to the DECO uh, network. If you don't see this prompt, you can manually open your wireless uh, Wi-Fi settings and find the DECO network. That's it. Tap on this network, connect to it and then go back to your DECO application. Now the deck has been found and you can tap on this button, set up the deco. And what you need to do now, you need to connect your deco to your modem or to your LAN socket. Uh, don't, I don't recommend you to connect the deco to your Wi-Fi router because this is router itself. And I strongly recommend you to connect your main deco directly to your internet source. Uh, whatever you use, DSL, cable modem, ONT, uh, or, or what it is, uh, imagine that this is uh, your main internet source. It can be also just a uh, LAN socket in the wall. In this case, I need, you need to press I don't have a modem and connect DECA to a LAN port directly to use it as a modem. So I have a modem, let's imagine this is a modem, so now you need the Ethernet cable. This one was in the box. Feel free to use third party ca cables. Uh, now, pl plug into any Ethernet port. It detects automatically how to use this port. And this, uh, the other end, plug into the Ethernet port of your modem or any internet source. So uh, now we are connected by the wire and let's tap on the right arrow. Now restart your modem. Okay, let's do it. And normally each modem has its own signal system and uh, in this case I need to wait for the internet signal to start uh, glowing green and the power signal to stop blinking. Well, now I have this green LED light and in case of your modem, you have to make sure that your modem is restarted and connected to the internet. Uh, and after this, you can tap on modem restarted button and select where your router will be set. Uh, let's, let's say bedroom, okay, and tap on next arrow. And now your internet connection tab is automatically detected. This is connection by dynamic IP. You don't need advanced settings so far, so just tap on next here. And uh, let's create the network name. Let's name it just simply my mesh. And create a password. Let's create basic for now, but of course you can create stronger password. 
if you saw and tap on next it's creating the network now uh, keep in mind that mesh system is different than uh, most part of routers you will not have a separate 2.4 g and 5g bands you have you will have a uniform network for the wall house and your devices your gadgets will automatically connect for the highest possible speed to the network which corresponds to them uh, better now the new network is created and you can save this network to your phone tap on this arrow it's connecting to my mesh found it testing internet connection well deco is now online and you can check this in your wi-fi settings uh, you see you, you are connected we are connected to my mesh now 2.4 and 5 gigahertz at the same time let's go back to the application what we have here you can place the other deco units and now let's set up the second one of course first of all you need to power on your deco so plug it into a power outlet and as for the main rotor you need to wait for the LED signal to start uh, pulsing blue and uh, a piece of advice for you guys uh, you always want your rotor to be placed centrally because all secondary decas all your range extender are looking for the best connection speed and this guy is connected to your main internet source so uh, he has the best speed possible and uh, first of all the wireless device will try to connect to this one and if you have the second let, let's imagine this is your main rotor on the second floor and uh, uh, these two guys are wireless so uh, first of all they will try to connect to your uh, wirely connected rotor and if the signal is too weak they will try to connect to each other and of course the signal near wire wired rotor uh for all your gadgets will be the maximum uh other option you can use the ethernet cable and use the backhaul connection so you have two ethernet ports on each of your decks so if you have an option uh, to run the cable through the walls you can uh, connect these guys by wire and uh, get the highest possible speed throughout your house but now let's connect it wirelessly this is the most common way to use deco but we have to wait for the blue light over here so now let's tap on next plug in all deco units plug in all deco units and they will automatically join to the network okay we already plug the deco in and and, and it's found got it now we have the green light here it means the wireless network is back up and running and now let's rename this unit because uh, one unit is for bedroom uh, but this unit is supposed to be for uh, another room let's you need to tap uh, on the unit and and here you need to to go where let's tap on this again oh now you you have this notepad icon here tab here and let it be office or you can customize the name manually uh, for example office 2 let's save and that's it you're all set And guys, couple of words about these application functions, about the basic functions. First of all, I, I would recommend you to check for the firmware updates. Go to more tab, scroll down and go to system. And here you have this update deco item. Tap on it. Yes, firmware update is available for deco and tap on download firmware. 
If you're up to date, you will see the message that you are up to date. It's simple. Now just wait for downloading. What the indicator shows? Nothing for now. It's still working as the extender, but uh, it will not broadcast Wi-Fi during the installation. So let's tap on install. Four minutes and 40 seconds or, or even less. 1.5 minutes. Now you see uh, the LED is blinking. It means it's updating and not broadcasting Wi-Fi now. Now, once the firmware is updated, the screen is closed and you're back off online. If in some reason you're offline after this operation, uh, go to network tab and tap on the, your main deco uh, and tap once again, uh, tap on these three dots and tap on reboot and do the same with all your secondary decos if needed. Uh, and a couple of more functions I want to show you right now. First off, keep in mind that you have the quick access to the security settings and parental controls here. But let's go uh, to the more tab now. Uh, from here you can change your Wi-Fi network name and password and you can set up the guest network. That's a good way to share your home Wi-Fi with your visitors without revealing your password, keeping them separate from your main network. You can connect the different devices uh, by WPS, set up VPN connection and use some advanced uh, function, most popular of which is address reservation. You pretty much want to have a static IP address for your home printer or scanner or whatsoever. Uh, of course, you can access the web interface, uh, but it's pretty limited. The full control over your uh, DECA is on from the application only. So uh, I won't show you this. Uh, you are all set for now. Hope this was helpful. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. Bye guys.